Hello and welcome to this quick video about this thing here. This is one of the new TBS all-in-one units, the new flight controllers. Uh, I've got another one in here to play with because I want to also play with it, things like RD Pilot stuff too. However, I've had this question from somebody about how do you configure it so that as you flick the switch on the radio, the VTX is powered, which is a standard setup on these flight controllers. Sadly, at the moment, it doesn't work uh, with anything but supplying the battery voltage out to your VTX. But it does mean that what you can do is you can wire up something like your DJI, Walksnell, HD0, Ruby FPV, whatever it is with something like this, have it basically having... Well, at the moment, it's putting out 0.187 volts. But when I flick the switch on the radio, it jumps to 15.42 volts to actually power the VTX. Now, the way that this works is that uh, all I've done is I've just connected the two wires that come out of the port here on the all-in-one that would power the HD FPV system to the voltmeter. So we can just, you can actually see it here on the screen. Hopefully you can see that 15.42. If I turn it off from the radio, it drops back to about point two of a volt gently going down it's probably a capacitor discharging in here somewhere so that's how it works it's actually a really really useful feature i would love in future if tbs actually added like a nine volt option for this so that you could use things like 6s uh, more safely with some of the fpv stuff however let me show you what you need to do in inav to set this up all you have to do is in the modes tab is set up user one to be controlled by a switch now the way i have it is like i flick the switch on the radio you'll see that user one's turned on and when user one's turned on the voltage is sent to the vtx when you flick the switch again that voltage drains away and the vtx will power off now what you could do of course is you could set it so that this is on a separate switch on your radio however you could also set it up so that user one uh, arms the model in the same position as something like channel 5 if you're using the Express LRS like I am here in this video. So I potentially might have it so that it's a three position switch um, and maybe in the middle switch position it would turn on the VTX and top position it would arm it. Obviously Express LRS at the moment it's only a two position switch. However there are lots of different options so all you have to do is this. Now there is something in the manual at the moment which is a little bit misleading, talks about having to set this pin IO setting. You don't need to do that. That's actually an error in the manual. I've pointed that out to TBS today. So hopefully when you watch this, if you look in the manual, that will have been edited. But you don't need to set anything up apart from adding user one and having it so that when you flick the switch, user one as a mode is activated. And when it's activated, it'll supply the voltage to your FPV gear really nice feature and again hopefully tbs if they bring out a version two of this will have something like a nine volt two and a half or three amp bec in here that would actually just run the vtx and just keep it nice and safe and keep everything nice and cool too thank you for watching my video check out the playlist and adding payment 360 to your search terms will help you find my content if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.